That folk music that you play there, what is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horses. <laughs> show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin. Our guest today is Gabrielle Louise. Thank you for having me, Ralph. Our pleasure. That was a nice song. Thank you. What tuning is that you're using? Uh, it's a drop D tuning, so I've got it in D, G, so the five of the tonic is in the bass, and then a lower D up here too on the top. Yeah. I uh, put my guitar through a lot of havoc because I use a lot of different tunings. I put my audience through a lot of stale moments when I'm retuning. <laughs> you were raised in Colorado? I was, yeah. In a little mountain town? Uh, a series of small mountain towns, actually. Um, my parents were nomadic musicians and <laughs> moved me on about a uh, six to seven month average. So I actually went to 12 different high schools before I graduated, or 12 different schools from K through 12. Wow. It was kind of an interesting way to live. But I saw a lot of the country, and uh, I saw a lot of beautiful places in Colorado, and met a lot of cool people, so it wasn't bad. And the traveling musician gene must have been passed down. Um, I guess so, because I can't really seem to figure out what to do with myself half the time, either. I usually want to go lots of different places, and see a lot of different places. So. You look like you're about ready to give us another tune. I am. I was uh, thinking about doing this song about growing up in Colorado, actually, 
when I was in high school, um, I hung out with these four brothers that, because two of them were adopted, uh, they were all within nine months of the same age. And so it was kind of neat, me, I was about two years younger than them, feeling like I had these four brothers to protect me. Um, we, went, we did a lot of hiking and a lot of camping. And when I came to New York about six months ago, I was here for six months working on my second CD. And the whole time that I was here living in the city, it's just, it's such a different existence. You know, it's one thing to be nomadic and travel around a series of small towns, and it's one thing to be nomadic and find yourself in a big city. And that was when I really found the difference in lifestyles. And so I was reminiscing a lot about these boys. Their names were the Cerbers. So I wrote this song about them. It's called Until the Morning. Leo was the oldest, John was second down. Each one had a numeral tattooed on his arm. Alan was the rebel, but they all were one. And Mikey had the laughter of a child. Well, I was only 16 with tomboy bones, pacing every evening by the telephone. Oh, they'd pick me up in pickup trucks, squealing tires and spraying dust. Mikey, take me to the mountains we'll pitch the tents by headlight beams pile the fire with kindling and we'll sing until the morning draft it was the only expectation that his parents ever had and Mike went off to state school John insured his hell stocking coca-cola on the supermarket shelves for a while they would visit weekends and holidays Working man and the fighting man quickly come of age. Oh, they packed their stuff in a U-Haul trucks. Filled the boxes, taped them up. Mikey, take me to the mountains. We'll pitch the tents by headlight beams. Pile the fire with kindling. And we'll drink until the morning. Oh, this coffee's getting cold.
you feel like telling us a little bit more about your parents? They sound like interesting characters. <laughs> they were. Um, well, besides moving us around a lot, uh, we traveled a lot in an airstream, which is like looks like a little, a large silver pill that you would swallow or something. And they, and they had rainbow curtains in there, and uh, we just traveled all around the United States. And uh, my dad is a guitar player for Michael Martin Murphy, who is a country singer, and my mom is a music therapist. And so I didn't really have much choice, I think, <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to do. What, what would you like to do for us next? Well, uh, I was thinking about doing a song off of my first record, uh, Journey, in the vein of my nomadic upbringing. Uh, this is a song called More About You. And it's a tune that I wrote when I was going to school at Berklee College of Music in Boston. And uh, I had a great time playing with some Argentinian musicians there. And it got me pretty curious about their culture and what they do. And recently I started tango dancing, um, which this is certainly not a tango song that I'm singing, but it's a song about uh, my intrigue with their culture. So it's called More About You. Will you walk about? with summertime still in your eyes the scent still lingers on from nights by fireside and I dream about those thrilling mysteries of your life I want to know more about you the freedom of a windy street still in your hair and the swagger of a samba hanging in the air oh it would please me just to please be caught up in your stare i want to know more about I want to know more about you. There is a glow in your energy. I want to sail into your body like an endless sea. I want to know more about you. -da 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 -da. Will you lead me like a dancer in a mask? And I breathe you like the smoke that I watched in some Now how sweetly you saw you're gone again I want to know more about you I want to know more about you there is a glow there's a glow in your energy I want to sail into your body like an endless I want to know more about you, more about you, oh, more about you, more about you, your eyes, your lips, your smile, more about you, more about you. We should let folks know how they can get in touch with you in case they want to find out more about your recordings and your touring schedule. We have two of your recordings here on the table, and people can email you at gabriellelouise at hotmail.com 
or they can go to www.gabriellelouise.com. That's true. Yes, and I'm just about to give my website a big revamp and have lots more interactive features, and you can definitely find out where I'm touring there, too. What would you like to do for us? Um, well, I was thinking about playing a new tune for you. This is a song that I wrote to poke a little bit of fun at myself. It's called Complicated Woman, which I can assure you is 99% of this song is true, and there's 1% that's a little lie. I'll just have to figure out which part it is. You want to talk about my past? Well, I am a mess. My heart's a hand-me-down. At its best So these days It's easier to say I'm fine Cause explaining Might take A little more time Than you have to offer But hey That's okay I've got money To take it out on anyway Oh Some girls feel by putting on a dress Oh, they do their hair and nails To hide the mess So, oh, but as for me I prefer my jeans See, I'm a complicated woman So I've got a dress Simply I'm simply complicated And I'm keeping it real with low maintenance sex appeal honey no heels those are too complicated just give me those Birkenstocks and I don't have time for socks I love my sweats from back in college kept the shirt but not the knowledge one time I washed my hair and I left the towel on Bush thought I was a terrorist till I could prove, look, I'm blonde Then I went to Safeway wearing it and folks where they were staring at it Oh, they came unglued They started whispering and hiding all the fruit So I thought, this really isn't working out for me Maybe I'll get a better reaction if I try my hand at fashion Till the bank clerk politely informed me, honey, you're not matching, oh, oh, oh. Some girls feel better by putting on a dress. They do their hair and nails to hide the mess, so, oh, but as for me, I prefer my jeans. See, I'm a complicated woman. If you're a complicated woman And I'm a complicated woman Dress simply No accessories So you went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston on a scholarship. I did, yeah, I did. It was a fabulous couple of years of my life, meeting people from all over the world. It's a really international student body, so it was pretty neat. But Boston was very cool. <laughs> and uh, shortly, uh, shortly after I graduated, I decided to go on the road like my parents and try to figure out where I'm going. And so I'm, in that process now. We're headed out to California in about a month to check it out out there and we'll go down to Nashville after that in December and see how we like it. Maybe if I find some place to stick I'll stay put for a little while. Yeah. I wanted to, to play you another new song if that's okay. Sure. This is a, a brand new one in the sense that nobody's ever even heard it before in terms of a live show. It's a song that I wrote called Cigarettes for Sentiments, and I was looking through some journals that I was keeping while I was at Berklee College of Music, and um, that's the cool thing about journals, especially when you have a bad memory like me. You can go back through them later on and be like, wow, I did that, 
or I remember feeling like that. And so I found this random scrap of paper with the, the first verse of this song written on it. And I kind of liked it. I was like, hey, I like that thing that I wrote that I totally forgot about. And so I continued with it. Cigarettes for sentiments. The world premiere of. The world premiere, yeah. <laughs> Cigarettes for sentiments I give you a dollar for your two cents He said he'd been around the world before He said he'd fought two wars, kept his life Had a son but lost his wife Isn't the weather charming? He said he'd seen it all, there was nothing left So he took up smoking cigarettes To pass the time, could he bum another? I don't mind Cigarettes for sentiments I gave her a dollar for her two cents She said she'd been around the world before She said she was born in Germany But she danced her way to the land of the free Isn't the weather lovely? She said her ankle broke in 92, not a damn thing left she cared to do. Could I spare another dime for food? And we love, we love to criticize. When we judge, we judge with our eyes. But if we couldn't see, if we all were blind, Sentiments I give you a dollar for your two cents. You look like you've been around the world before. He said, I don't need your charity. Would you leave a man his dignity that looks like the storms of ruin? He said, put it on paper, don't you lie. You tell the world I'm satisfied. If it rains tonight, I'll be dancing. And we love. Oh, we love to criticize when we judge, we judge with our eyes. But if we couldn't see, if the world went dark, could we finally We have about four minutes left to the show, so... Sure. Um, well, would you like to finish up playing a song with me? I'd love to. Great. Um, there's this traditional song that I really love to play. It's called Wayfaring Stranger. And it's in the key of A minor. Joni Mitchell. Blame her every time. For the tunings. For the tunings. And for stealing my heart. You can get more information about Gabrielle Louise at GabrielleLouise.com. I'm wandering through 
this world of woe And there's no sickness No toil, no danger In that bright land To which I go Oh, I'm going I'm going there no more to roam, but I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over that bright land and I want to shout the salvation story in concert with all that blood washed band cause I'm going there to see my father and he said he 